Hi, Shanna Rowe Jackson here from Caution Artists at Play, and today I am going to talk about my 2022 goals since it is officially 2022. This is so exciting. I am hoping that this year will bring a lot of peace for everybody. <laughs> the last two years have been rough, and here's hoping that 2022 gets better. So I want to tell you a little bit about this painting before I get into the subject of the video. And this painting was something that kind of was just an idea that was bouncing around in my head for a little while. And it was just a fun little two-day project. I wanted to explore color and I wanted to explore silhouette with my two favorite subjects to paint. And that would be the sky and trees. And I've done a very similar composition in other mediums before. I actually... I think I did a very similar small piece in my sketchbook when I tried out the acrylic wash by Holbein for the first time. And so this is a subject that is very familiar to me and near and dear to my heart. And I really just wanted to push color. And the sky itself is from my imagination. And then the trees, I did use various references that I took in my own yard for some of the trees. And then some of them were done from my imagination. But the composition itself kind of just floated around in my mind for a bit. And like I said, it's similar to other things I've done before. I'm using acrylics for this. I'm using the So Flat Matte Acrylics by Golden, as well as the High Flow Acrylics by Golden. I am using some of the De La Rowney System 3 acrylics, as well as some Holbein acrylic gouache. And this is on a panel. I think this is called, I believe the company is American Easel, which is kind of a funny name. And it's a gessoed panel by them. So yeah, that is what I'm working on in the background. So let's get down to my goals for 2022. So my number one goal, if you've been following me for a while, is to finish my studio. It has been slow and steady. Actually, I can't say that it's been steady. A lot of things have gotten in the way with the holidays and everything else. So basically, so far, we have mudded it and we are about to sand it and then we need to paint it. But I also want to get some flooring and things like that. So it's definitely not as far along as it should be. And then once I'm done with my studio, it's going to make it so much easier for me to reach these other goals. There's a few things on here that I can't really do until my studio is finished and my filming and everything else will get better. Of course, I want to continue to to post regularly on YouTube and I have been basically filming from my living room lately and I will continue to do that but it's going to be so much easier once the studio is finished and I'm super excited about it I just I want to have my space and so then my next few deal with artwork directly and the types of artwork I want to do and so on that note, my next goal, my second goal, is to explore seldom used art supplies. And as you know, I have a lot of art supplies. I review a lot of art supplies. And so there are a lot of different mediums I like to work in. And sometimes I go for the same mediums over and over, like colored pencil and acrylic are probably my two main mediums. And so I want to explore some things that I have up in the studio that I haven't had the chance to play around with. And like one of them I think is casein. I did a painting with casein a couple years ago. I really liked the medium. I bought a bunch more and I haven't really explored it anymore after that. And so I want to try and explore those, those items that I have in my art studio and just see what I can do with them. Number three, work on my candy series more. So I have a series that I've been working on in colored pencil for a while, a long time, like a few years. And I don't know that I did any this year, or I should say last year. I don't even remember if I did any of my candy series. I may have, but I have a bunch of reference photos ready and I want to dive into that series more and get moving with it because I have so many fun ideas with it and I would just like to add more to my series. So number four is to finish my bumblebee painting. So I have a bumblebee painting that I've been working on in oils that I haven't really been able to work on because it's in traditional oils. I haven't been able to work on it because my studio is just kind of a void right now. And so I haven't been able to do anything up there. And so I haven't been able to work on that painting. And it is a good size painting. You've seen it. 
uh, towards probably the, the beginning of 2021 when I was doing some studio vlogs. I'm really excited about the painting and I love it and I can't wait to see where it goes. However, I haven't had the chance to work on it. So that is a goal this year is to finish that painting. Number five is getting more into developing as an artist, and that is to do more learning-based activities like reading and taking online courses and things like that. I love to read about art almost as much as I love to create art, and so I... I want to do read more books, but I also want to kind of dive into some courses online and just, you know, learn new things, watch more YouTube videos by artists that I like, and see where I can take my art in the new year. Number six is to enter more art contests, basically just like some online competitions and things like that. I enter Fine Art America art contests all the time, but <laughs> that's really just um, another way of marketing prints and things like that. It doesn't, there's no prizes or anything, but I'm talking more along the lines of the contests that like the Artist Network put on or Colored Pencil Society of America. I've entered a couple in 2021, but there's, I still haven't heard back yet because the contest is still running and things like that. But I think it's a great way to just get some experience and get your art seen by different people. And of course, if you win, that's always fun too. So I'd like to do more of that in 2022. Number seven is to do an in-person event, like an art show or an art walk or, you know, something, some type of exhibition, because hopefully things are going to open up even more this year, fingers crossed. And so I really want to do more in-person things again. I really miss exhibiting. I haven't really done much of that since 2020. I've done some online things, but it really, it's it's different than doing it in person. And there's, there's just something wonderful about the experience of exhibiting your artwork next to other people and meeting other artists and seeing art in person and having that experience and being able to talk to people about your art in person. And so I've really missed that and I definitely want to try to do that in 2022. Number eight, sell products in my shop. So this is something I actually, I have my website. It's cautionartistatplay.com or shannarojackson.com. I'm already selling originals over there and things like that. But there's a few items that I'd like to add to my shop. And I do sell prints on Fine Art America. So I don't think I'll be doing prints or anything like that. I have a lot of items that I sell on Fine Art America. And I still would prefer to do that because I I like the fact that I don't have to ship every single thing, but there's a few items that I think would be really fun. Like sketchbooks is one of them. I'm exploring some options for making some sketchbooks with my artwork on the outside of them. So that is something that I'd really like to do this year and dive deeper into. If that's something that you're interested in, let me know in the comments below. Also, let me know some products you'd like to see. I don't know that I'll do stickers necessarily because that's something that I offer on Fine Art America and I'm not sure I'm interested in doing like pins or anything like that. I'm still, I'm thinking about, I'm mulling things over really because I'm not going to be able to start out with a ton of inventory ahead of time. So it's probably going to be one or two items, but it's something I've wanted to do for a very long time and I have been doing some research and looking into some products. So let me know it, what you would like to see in my shop in the comments below if that's something that interests you. Number nine is to blog more and start an email newsletter. So I've had a blog for years. I had a blog way before I started YouTube. And actually, some of my first posts on YouTube were inspired by some of my own blog posts that I did. And now that I've been on YouTube, I have not been <laughs> blogging as much. And I, I think that they go hand in hand. And I've seen a lot of people recommend blogging. And I really do love to write and I like to talk about art. So I really just need to get back into it. And along those lines, I have a sign up form on my website now for people to sign up for an email newsletter. I want to try and do a monthly newsletter, but I'm still trying to figure out what that looks like, see if I can find a template or I'm just trying to figure out the logistics of doing an email newsletter. And so that's why I haven't done it. So I apologize if you have signed up for my email newsletter and haven't gotten one. I... I'm still trying to figure out how to do it, but that's definitely something that I want to do and I want to do regularly. Like I said, I think I want to do it monthly. It'll, you know, talk about different reviews that I've done and different artwork that I've done that month and products that I'm offering, things like that, you know, like the general basics of an email newsletter. 
So that's something that I've wanted to do for a while and I want to definitely start this year. My final goal is to create a course or to start a Patreon. So this is probably going to heavily depend on how much of a following I have by the end of 2022 because obviously a Patreon is a lot of work and I need to make sure that I'll have enough people who are interested in in signing up. I also really just need to do a lot more research and figure out what I want to offer and what I want to do for tiers and things like that. I have signed up on Patreon, so I have I have my account over there, but I'm still doing more research and trying to figure out how I want how I want to do that as well. And I'm also interested in possibly starting like doing like a Skillshare class or something like that. I have a few ideas bouncing around in my mind about how I want to do that and what I want to do it about. And I will announce all that later on. Again, these are just some goals of mine. Hopefully, I'll reach them by the end of 2022. But it really largely depends on how the year goes and everything else like that. And so, yeah, those are my main goals for the year. I don't know. I think it's a good variety. A good variety between learning and business and also finding new ways to to connect with you all and to give you more content. What are some of your goals for 2022? Do you have any art goals? I don't know. I just love the new year. It's not as exciting to me as Christmas necessarily, but I'm really happy with the the goals that I reached in 2021. And so I'm feeling really good right now about the direction that I'm going in. And I do have a few other goals as well. I just kind of talked about the top 10, but I have a few personal goals relating to my art that I, I'm not necessarily discussing here because um, I don't know. I just, I, I guess I don't dare to say them out loud yet. So we'll see. Maybe when I do a recap of 2022, I will talk about those goals and let you know if I reached them or not. So yeah, but this is my little painting. I'm pretty happy with how it has come out. I'm really, really loving the stark contrast between the dark, dark trees in the front and all the colorful trees in the back. I think I I reached my goals with this painting when it comes to that. I had a lot of fun with it. I had to restart the sky a couple of times, which isn't necessarily unusual. I'm not used to this panel, which this is the first time I've actually used this panel, and I really like it a lot. I will link all the materials in the description below, but... I really enjoyed this panel, but I wasn't used to it. Really smooth panels. Acrylic will lift pretty easily off of them, which is unusual for acrylics, but it's just how it is with smooth panels. I have found it on every panel, no matter what acrylic I'm using, every smooth panel that I've ever used. And so there were times when I was smoothing out the sky that things would lift or I just wasn't being patient enough, but I am really happy with the way it came out. So here is the final piece. I hope that you have a very, very happy new year. Thank you for hanging out with me today and listening to my art goals. I hope that you reach all of your goals. I will see you next week. Have a great day. Bye.